Hundreds of Dixie State University students stopped by the Gardner Center Wednesday to see what kinds of jobs might fit in between their busy class schedules. They were greeted by employers who were anxious to add to their workforce. So at the end of the school year, what we do is we give you two options. We can either transfer you to a Ross near your hometown and you continue to work and make money, or you can go and take a leave of absence. So you get the three months off, but you're still technically employed with us. For the second year in a row, DSU hosted a student employment fair allowing students the opportunities to search out potential employment or even future careers. Last year we started a student job fair in the fall because we realized that when new students come in that they need a job and they're hungry like you said they're starving and so employers need to hire students need jobs and so this is just the perfect venue. This year 35 businesses participated in the event hosted by the DSU Career Center. Companies like Chipotle, we have companies like America First, we have technology companies, we have um, financial institutions, so they just kind of very... Dixie State students gave great feedback about what they found. We loved the lawn care because they were willing to work with our football schedules. And then hopefully after football season we'll be getting more hours, but they were super nice to us and we got excited about that one. And yeah, bring in a little <laughs> bit of cash. <laughs> ALC is a company doing business in 16 states. The transportation company has a dispatch center in St. George. We basically taking inbound calls, um, coordinating with the, with the clients in terms of uh, um, how to get from point A to point B. Um, some of those may be where they're, they're doing medical appointments. Um, some may be where uh, they're coordinating students' uh, rides from, uh, from home to the, to the school. Brooke Connolly signed up with this home care company, which is similar to the field she is planning on going into. My plan's a nursing school and probably PA school eventually. They're looking for a job that is flexible with their school schedule um, and that can also give them some experience in the healthcare fields. One former DSU student who graduated ended up starting a moving business on the side. It was so popular, he decided to take it full time and now is giving back by hiring others. I'm a criminal justice psychology graduate. So, uh, but I, I started the business and have loved it ever since, so I, I, I do what I do, so. Does it sound like it might fit in your schedule and can you lift 100 pounds? I don't know if I can lift 100 pounds, but <laughs> I know that if I do it, I mean, it makes it so I'll be able to. I, I don't know, I just, I love hard work. Recruiters from the Las Vegas Police Department traveled an hour and a half looking for potential police officers. They say they are having a tough time finding candidates that are qualified. Uh, Las Vegas is a growing town. Uh, we're trying to, currently trying to hire over 600 officers by 2018. At the end of their tour, students took back goodies and information on several positions they can apply for. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. I'm finding a lot of stuff. I'm going to buy all of them. <laughs> From the job fair at Dixie State, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.